reconstituting your ipamorelin peptide. So when you get your peptide from Limitless Life, it's gonna come in a three milliliter vial. All right, and you can see it's dries freed, lymphocized is what that is. All right, you can see it's dried. This is what it's gonna look like. Next, you're gonna need your bacterial static water. You're gonna be using that to combine this, all right? You're gonna need a three milliliter syringe. We're gonna use this for this reconstitution process. Your 29 gauge, one milliliter insulin syringe is your daily users. We don't need this for the reconstitution process, but you are gonna need this while you, after you reconstitute that. So we'll put this out of our way. And then you're gonna need alcohol wipes. I'm gonna put all this stuff in the link down below for you guys so you can just click it, go straight to it, grab it, you guys can have it. All right, so let's go ahead and reconstitute your Ipa Morellin peptide. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your three milliliter syringe, all right? You only need one, because this is your starting kit. I don't have to use that again for a long time, all right? So next, you wanna open this up. Just like that. You wanna get your alcohol wipe, get your little pad, take the cap off your bacterial static water. That's gonna be trash. Take the cap off your Ipamorella water. All right, now we're gonna take the alcohol pad and clean both the tops. That's important, guys. And when I take the water out of here, when I inject it, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, you wanna shoot it to the side. You don't wanna shoot directly at the peptide because these peptides are fragile. All right, so shoot it at the side. And then when I inject this, this negative pressure is gonna pull immediately. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick on kind of how to hold that. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna pull the plunger to three milliliters, all right? Oops. I'm gonna take my alcohol pad, go ahead and clean the top, put it there. I'm gonna go ahead and Put the syringe in, poke, lift up, push the air in. You gotta balance that pressure out and then pull back. You guys can see it's going, bam, bam, bam. Three milliliters, bam. You guys can see there's a little air bubble at the top. Kinda wanna gently maybe flick a little bit, push that air bubble out. There we go. Now, clean the top of your Ipamorellin. And you wanna hold the syringe kind of with your pinky, however's best for you. And again, this has negative pressure, so the moment I put this syringe in, it's gonna pull hard. So kind of hold it with the pinky, right in the center, and be gentle, and it's going in. Nice and easy. Oh, I think I might have missed. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. I think I might have accidentally missed. Let me pull it back in. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm in the center. Push it off to the side. Try to be as gentle as possible. There you guys. Bam. Be nice and easy. Just like that. And that's three milliliters of the water. This has officially been reconstituted. You kind of want to gently roll it around. So now we know we have three milliliters of this bacterial water with our 10 milligrams of our Ipa Morellin peptide, all right? Now, there's. I used to do it the hard way. I don't wanna confuse you guys. I used to get a totally separate vial, take three milliliters out, put it in a bigger vial, add another milliliter of water to make four milliliters, but all that really doesn't matter. What's most important is you just know three milliliters are in here, 
and 10 milligrams of ipamorelum. And then once you guys do this, you wanna put it in your refrigerator. You wanna keep it cold, you wanna keep it out of the UVs, okay? You wanna keep it out of the sun, keep it cold, gently roll it around, let it kinda of just sit for a minute. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but every course I've gone through, every person, Dr. Siege, Jay Campbell, all those guys, say put it in the fridge for a little bit after you reconstitute it. Okay, so make sure you guys do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Nice and easy. Bam, just like that. So that is exactly how you reconstitute your ipamorelin peptide. Remember, that's 10 milligrams. You guys can get the five milligrams, it's totally fine, because in this next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to dose it, how to get into your micrograms, and that way you guys can you know, begin your peptide healing, your peptide therapy, and yeah, 10 milligrams, three milliliters of water. Next video, let's go over the dosage.